Hello my dear viewers, listeners and students. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and in this video I am going to explain a very important topic of uh, chapter work, power and energy which is uh, conservation of energy. So the principle of conservation of energy is a very basic, um, this chapter actually, the uh, work, power and energy and you know that there are some mathematics will be uh, usually in your question paper for that reason the understanding of this concept is important and this class is the following classes before uh, the potential energy and kinetic energy and you know already that the potential energy or EP is equal to MGH so the potential energy is acquired by the changing of the normal uh, positions or the configurations of, an, of any object and the kinetic energy is being acquired by the motion or velocity of an object. So Ek is equal to half mv square. So I hope you know it already and uh, I already uh, uh, uploaded a video on the potential energy and also the kinetic energy and this video is about how an object uh, will sustain the conservation of energy. So if we see the statement of conservation of energy that energy can neither be created so this is very important to know that energy can't be created or even can't be destroyed so what is the first part of that statement is energy can neither be trans uh, created or destroyed but but it can be transformed so the transformation here so there is a word transform from one to another forms or more forms and most importantly the total energy of the universe is constant so if this is the statement of principle of conservation of energy now we need to see that how it's followed in case of falling bodies and how the potential energy and the kinetic energy the summation of these two energy is again same how it things happen so I'm going to explain it so please concentrate and if if you know it already great suppose suppose that an object is placed let us suppose an object placed uh, from the ground in H height from the ground in H height here so there is an object which is in the position of A hmm. So, suppose the mass of the object is M. So, let us suppose that a mass of an object M is placed in position of A from the ground in H height. So, if this is the ground and we say that it's in the rest phase. So, when it will freely fall down to the ground, then what will be going on like here when it placed in rest in H height the total energy is potential energy and as in this position there is no velocity of this object the kinetic energy would be zero but when it started to fall in, it started to fall in, in every cases in every moment there will be a transformation not actually transformation but there will be the changes in case of that when it will be falling down then oh, the things should be like that when it will be falling down the kinetic energy will be increasing and the potential energy will be decreasing but the summation of these two energy will remain same that is the main part of this video because this is important because this type of mathematics will be very common on your exam paper especially those who are students of English version you'll see that in your physics questions this type of question is very very uh, usual and normal and common actually so you just think the concept that a body is placed here in H height so what will be the potential energy in A point so if I say that in point A so here in point A all the energy or uh, potential energy because it placed here in H height so when we will measure the potential energy we need to think that in which height it's in place like here H height 
So in case of point A, the potential energy is is m g h because m is the mass of an object, g is the gravitation, you know, the acceleration due to gravity, and h is this h. So if it is 20 meter, if it is 50 meter, whatever, the amount of the height would be here. The mass is given like 20 gram, 50 gram, 1 kilogram, whatever. You know the value of g is 9.8 and if the mass is given and you know the height, so you can identify or you can calculate the potential energy of any object. But important thing is, in point A, the kinetic energy is zero because because there is no velocity we say that the u is zero as yes the the object is in rest phase we see that there is no velocity so in point a all the energy are potential energy and there is no kinetic energy so ek would be zero so we see in point a all energy is mgh so keep in mind, but when, when, if I say that the body started to falling down and it comes here, suppose it's here, so in point B, in point B, if I say that from this point to this point, uh, right now, right now, it crosses X amount of distance, X amount of distance, so, from height, it will be h minus x. Suppose total h is 60 meter. And if it travels 20 meter, from a to b, if I say that from a to b, 20 meter, so from ground to b would be 40 meter. So, how we could find it? So, h minus x, I mean 60 minus 20 is 40. Suppose. So I just saw the x amount of height it travels. So it travels from A to B, x amount. And that is why in B position, it's in H minus x amount of distance from the ground. So now in point B, in this object, both the energy will be here. I mean, the, the, uh, the object B is placed from height H minus x and also when it's traveling from A to B, it acquires some velocity. So due to this velocity, it will gain some kinetic energy. So when it travels from A to B, that energy, I mean that kinetic energy is gained, I mean it's, it's acquired from the velocity. So how we can find it out, point to B here, we say that EP, right now this is important now the potential energy of b will be measured that from the ground in which height it's placing like here b point is provided h minus x so this is the height so in case of potential energy we need to find it out that mg now it would be h minus x because potential energy is that energy which is gained from the changes of its position so from height it's in h minus x height so now we can say this is mgh minus mgx mgx and now we can see that in b there should be kinetic energy and that is actually half of m v square now again we need to find the velocity so in case of finding velocity we know that v square equal u square plus 2gh we know it from the falling bodies principle yes you know that in my previous classes i already explained the principles of falling bodies this is the fourth equations i mean actually the third equations of falling bodies because in law of motion we explained the equation which is v square equal u square plus 2as but here instead of a it would be g and instead of s it would be h so v square equal u square plus 2 gh but where here this h is actually which h the 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 travel time the, the amount of height it crosses 
So as we say earlier that from A to B it crosses X amount of height X amount of height so thereby there would be V square shoma E square plus 2G X not H so V square equal U square plus 2G X would be the equations in this case because it's falling from A to B now we think that from A to B the initial velocity was 0 so here U would be 0 so we can say that V square equal 2G X as u is 0 because we said it earlier that in position a it was in rest and that is why the kinetic energy was 0 but it started falling down from a to b and it gained velocity here through this process so v square equal to gx so if i say here that half of m v square equal to gx so i put it here 2gx and we can remove 2 from both sides I mean it's together then it would be mgx so in position B we got both EP and EK now in position B if we add the summation of EP and EK we got mgh minus mgx is the EP plus ek so the value of ek is mgx so if we add mgx then we can say that mgx would be vanished from here as it is minus and plus so only mgh will be the remaining value so we can see that when it was in position a the total energy was mgh and when it comes to b after crossing x amount of distance and having the distance from ground h minus x the value of total energy is mgh it means when a body is falling from any height to the ground in every cases in every distance in the whole amount of time the summation of both energy will remain same so mgh mgh and even it also can be proved that before touching the ground before touching the ground the total uh, summation of energy would be same mgh because what we actually know that when it was in the higher at rest total energy was potential energy and when it started falling down the energy will be converted to the kinetic energy from the potential energy and when it come to the ground and will hit with the velocity the whole energy is the kinetic energy and when it is in the ground that is there is no height from the ground so that is why all the energy is kinetic energy so in position C when it would be very near to ground there is no potential energy so in the highest point there is no kinetic energy due to there is no velocity and in the touching moment of ground there is no potential energy the whole energy is converted to kinetic energy so the summation of potential and kinetic energy in all cases it will remain same mgh and hence we can say the principle of conservation of energy is true so there is no sort of uh, creation of energy or no sort of destruction of energy is going on only the transformation is going on so you can say that when this body will hit to the ground the energy is not vanished it might transfer to the heat energy the sound energy or even any other form but but the energy will remain same it can't be destroyed it can be created so the whole energy of this, of this universe is constant and unchangeable. So from that point of view, we can say that in case of falling bodies, it will remain same. I mean, the potential energy and the kinetic energy, the summation of these two energy will remain same. And hence, the principle of conservation of energy is true. So I hope I can make you understand. And this concept is very, very important because there were some mathematical problems you know that 
student of English versions in this chapter especially uh, work power and energy this question is very common something like a kilogram of height is given in definite height and then it's falling down and in which point the potential energy and the kinetic energy some sort of change is given so I hope you can uh, complete this set of mathematical tests and definitely I shall be uh, uploading these videos on some mathematical problems on this chapter there are a variety of problems in this chapter actually work power energy so I hope you understand this and of course in next class I shall upload some mathematical problems and please keep watching these videos and do let me know your recommendations any corner of this world and I shall be happy to have your recommendations take care stay well stay blessed bye